some more video about this pond, uh, just talking about uh, aquatic vegetation and the health of the pond. So really, <clears throat> you have different type or different levels of vegetation, right? So you clearly have uh, plants that the majority of the plant lives below the surface of the water rooted in the bottom and they have uh, leaves or some component of the plant that comes to the top so they like to be wet all the time. You have other plants that we like to say uh, ha like to have wet feet but the plants above the water. Then we have plants uh, up on the shoreline in this zone that don't mind getting wet from time to time but prefer not to be wet all the time. <clears throat> so those three buffer, those three zones are really important to the health of the pond why it's important to have a buffer on the edge that just helps with nutrient control and all that you do have to look at these cattails uh, at some point they may become too many of those but as we see them on this pond they're really okay uh, a general rule of thumb is no more than 20 percent coverage of the pond in aquatic growth uh, on average throughout the year so this one looks pretty good as we've said before should we start to get a lot of stuff growing in there then we may have to come in and remove some of that either by hand or by some herbicide control but from a, from a fire protection standard right and a dry hydrant we're going to want to get that dry hydrant out there into that deeper water where we see no aquatic growth because really the reason it grows is the sunlight can penetrate uh, down to the bottom so where the sunlight stops penetrating you really don't have uh, those type of aquatic vegetation that grows so this is really good the po folks has some lawn they don't cut it to the edge. They have a buffer going around. And then you can see in the middle of the pond where the dry hydrant goes out to that that is good, clean, uh, good quality of water. And that's going to be that like that year round.